Today we're gonna look at breaking a chicken into parts. For whatever use you have, you can take the wings just by finding the joint in the center. The, the knife will go through, it's not gonna cut bone, it's gonna cut flesh first, so that's easy enough to do. Those you can set aside, use for stock or for fried wings. And the next thing you wanna do is separate the legs from the body. And you can actually do that with your hands too. You can you break the bone in between and you pull the skin back. The backbone goes all the way to here. So you split this and right at the bottom, at the middle of the um, backbone too, there's a thing called an oyster. I don't know if they call it that anymore, but it's a pocket of flesh that's shaped like this right at the bottom of the backbone. When you roast a chicken, it comes out cooked and you can see it whole, but when you go to Boney's, you kind of have to put your finger into it, find it, and you'll see there's a pocket right here where it sits. So instead of leaving it behind, which is fine, because you, you can use the bones that you have left to make fresh chicken stock. So there's your leg. Just repeat the same thing on the other side. Let the knife do the work. When you get to this spot too, you can use this to pull it. And this comes out clean. Leg, leg. Now there's two things for the breast you can do. You can either have it so that you have it bone in, in which case you need to go in between the drumette on either side, through the rib bones. And separate it straight out. And then you have your back. And that's good for stock. Now again, two ways for the breast. With a heavier knife, right in the center of the breastplate here in the center. If you break that bone, the chicken will split. So you have two. Then there's just the, uh, the center piece, the cartilage down the middle. And remember the tenders are in there. It's chicken tenders. This comes right out. So you have a clear separation of the two. So these are bone-in breasts. You have your wings, the two legs. And to separate these simply enough, there's a fat line that runs right through here. And that's where the two joints meet. So you just set your knife to where that fat mark is. And again, the knife's gonna go through flesh before bone, but if it does, that's okay too. But these are separated. Wings, legs, thighs, bone in breast. To take these off the bone, an easy way to do it is just put the knife underneath against the bone, again going downward away from you, and then straight to the back again. If there's any scrap, again, you can use it for stock. This is a nice presentation with the drumette on the breast when you roast it whole, and a lot of times poultry is a lot more, uh, has a lot more juice, a lot more flavor when it's off the bone.